The press days are over at the North American International Auto Show. They're preparing for you and your visit downtown. So what can you expect when you get there? For a closer look, we turn to our auto show warrior and business editor, Rod Maloney. And how does this show compare? We've, we've covered a lot of shows. And how does this one compare? Well, you know, Carmen, the last couple of years have been a lot of excitement, a lot of energy to show lots of those special show cars. Well, here's one of them. It's called the Acura Precision Concept. Is this as big as last year? Perhaps not, but it's still a great show. Why light concussion grenades when pulling a sheet will do? The industry, flush with cash after record sales, has casual confidence in the North American International Auto Show this year. 57 new cars on the stand. There were years when that number pushed 80. This year, the reveals took a day and a half. In line with other big international shows, says Motor Trend's Angus McKenzie, who says of Detroit... It is still an important show. You know, in the old days, to be honest, there was a little bit of, well, let's stretch it out over four days because we can. And so I think it got a bit ridiculous. It's kind of a quiet show, though. Peter DiLorenzo, the auto extremist, would have liked a busier show with that signature vehicle, but it doesn't diminish the show's international status. It's still important. Yes, okay. definitely. The Chevy Bolt ended up debuting viewing at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas and then in Detroit. Is this a sign that Detroit's diminished at all? Auto Trader analyst Michelle Krebs says no. There's a lot of competition to get the debuts, but, you know, the Detroit show is still the most important North American show. The show pumps $400 million into Detroit's economy this year, and there's a brighter future ahead when you understand that Silicon Valley technology and Detroit auto ability are merging and on display here on the floor, says the Chamber of Commerce's Sandy Barua. We are the world leader right now. There's actually more autonomous and connected vehicle products occurring in Michigan than in California. Most people don't know that. Well, there are those talk about cars at this year's show. Take a look at this. It's called the Avista. It's a Buick concept car, won the best concept here, and there's good reason for that. Check out that interior. Very nice stuff. So if you're looking for something kind of cool down here, yeah, the show may be underwhelming to some, but it's still a good show. Back to you.